Hi, church family. My name is Debbie Mapstead, and I'm here to share with you today's Heart to Home devotion. So I know that all of us at some point in time have had this conversation with the Lord. It's, Lord, I just don't know if I can overcome. You fill in the blank, whatever it might be, sin or bondage. Um, we've all had this conversation, and sometimes we'll claim that this just may be part of us. Ephesians 1.19 says, And... What is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places. So Paul wouldn't pray, Lord, give them the power over their sins. He would pray, let them know the power they already had, the power of the resurrected Christ. So whatever we're struggling with is infinitesimal compared to the power it took to raise Christ into heaven and give him dominion over all. So if we're in bondage sin, and it's not because we need more power, it's because we failed to use the power that's already in us. So we might say, well, that sounds good, but how does that work practically? Ephesians 1.22 says, And he put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church. So I know with technology and the ability to watch from home, and that can be a great thing if you're unable to attend in person, but it isn't the same. This is technology, what we're doing now. It's great, but it is not the same. The name of the game is community. We need our, we need one another. We need to be with our brothers and sisters who pray with us, care about us, because the more closely we're linked to the body, the more clearly we'll experience the authority of Jesus' headship. How can we be full of the Lord? The church is where the headship will be enjoyed. We can say, I study my Bible on my own, and that's great, we should do that. But we're talking about coming together as a body. So I read this this analogy in a commentary, and it said, if we all went home and we told our kids to grab their dinner plates and go to their room and have Sunday dinner all by themselves, they would still be getting nutrition, they would survive, But the heart of a true father, right, is to see his kids together, interacting, loving, sharing, and growing. Ephesians 1, 22. And he put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church. So often when I come to church, almost every time, um, I'm reconnected with the body once again. I'm in a very real and practical way. I hear the voice of the Lord afresh. And I'm reminded that the storm that threatens to intimidate me is underneath the feet of the one who is the head of the body. Amen. Let's pray. So, Lord God, we're so thankful for your promises, for your word. I pray, I pray, Lord, that you would just um, show us that we do indeed have that very power that raised Christ from the dead and that we are to have victory, Lord, in sin and to overcome. We fall short. You know that better than all. But we are to have victory. And this is a promise, and we're so grateful, Lord. And and also, Lord, that we would have a hunger and a thirst to be together as a body, as a church body, and it would give you great pleasure, Lord, and that we could come alongside one another and and just be a blessing to one another and share in the joy and in the grief and in all that, that being Christians encompass, Lord. And so we just thank you for who you are, who we are in you. We say this and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.